All right. So we've got a couple more questions. Truth sure. be told, wanted to, I guess, follow up. On a subject two, we received the deed from the seller, correct? Whereas the agreement of the deed means that we do not have the deed, correct? Does the deed go into escrow in both situations? Great question. Okay. All right. So uh, first of all, when you're purchasing a property subject to the existing loan, you are getting the deed to that property. So you'll actually have the deed. It's not going to be an escrow. You're going to have the deed on that property. Now, if the seller will not allow you, well, probably that's because you don't have the skills to show the seller what is in it for them. Because anytime that we're taking over existing financing on the property, there's always something in it for the seller, meaning that we're offering them more for their property because of the fact that they're allowing us to take over their existing financing on the property. Now I'm going to be teaching that at Beginner Jumpstart because we're going to be going through the cost to sell worksheet. And that's where we show the seller that we can actually increase our offer simply by taking over their, their existing financing. So to answer your question, you're going to get the deed on a subject too. Now, when it's an agreement for deed, that means the seller is keeping their deed. And if the seller's keeping their deed, that indeed, I recommend that that go into escrow and using the same explanation that I was giving before to Mary Ann, you want that deed to go in escrow with escrow instructions. Now this is my volume 10 owner financing at streetsmartinvestor.com that not only has the explanation and the step-by-step -step process and the forms and the formats and the formulas, it also has those escrow instructions as well.